Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube video about Latin. This one is about the dative case, one of my favorite cases in Latin. This is from the Vulgate Course by William Dodds. This is Lesson 101 in his book, which is available for free over at Google Books. Let's jump into it. Dad gives a book to his son. Dad, subject of the sentence, nominative case, what's he doing? He's giving, verb, that's an action verb or an active verb. He's giving what? He's giving a book. Book receives the action, right? It's being passed around. It was just laying there on the table doing its own thing, and then it was picked up and passed around. So it receives the action. It's in the accusative case. Then we have this preposition, to. To whom? Son. Object of the preposition. To his son. Prepositional phrase. And we'll come back to that in just a minute. Whose son? His son. That's a possessive pronoun. And it's also an adjective because it's describing son. Okay, and the article adjective, of course, goes away. So what do we do with to his son? Well, here's our question. When we're talking about the date of case, you have to ask, who gets the direct object? Whoever gets the direct object is the indirect object. That means that son is the indirect object. So this whole prepositional phrase is an indirect object phrase. Remember, this is very simple. Whoever gets the direct object is, in English, the indirect object. In Latin, this goes into the dative case because the dative case is the case of the indirect object. There are more uses for the dative and we'll talk about those in future videos, but for today, it's just indirect object. Let's diagram this. Dad gives, what does he give? He gives a book, a book. Now, he gives a book to, we're going to put this prepositional phrase diagram below the verb. This is where the indirect object goes when you diagram. It goes below the verb. We'll put the preposition on the slanted line to, and he gives a book to son, whose son, his, and this whole phrase here is an indirect object phrase, and it's in the dative case. Now, whenever I diagram indirect objects, I always leave a little tail right there. I've seen that in plenty of books. I'm sure that's not the hard and fast rule, but just so my students recognize this as an indirect object phrase and not a regular prepositional phrase, they I have them attach that little tail on the slanted line. Okay, remember, whoever gets the book is the indirect object. And this book is going to the sun. So the sun is the indirect object and will go into the dative case. So here we go. We're going to use English word order just to make this clear, but this is bad Latin. Ready? Pater dat librum. He gives the book Pater dat librum. So we have the, the subject, we have the verb, and we have the direct object. Pater dat librum. Now, he's giving it to his son. Okay? So, son is filius. But we're going to change this to the dative, so we will get rid of the U.S. and replace it with an O. Pater dat librum. Filio, that means to his son. It's in the dative case, and he gives it to his son, so libro, or, uh, filio, sorry, suo. Filio suo. Pater dat librum filio suo. Again, bad Latin word order. The verb typically would go at the end, but not always. Uh, it would sound better if we did it that way. But just for example, pater dat librum filio suo. That took a long time. Let's look, to, let's look at another one. They give the books to the teacher. We'll do this one a little more rapidly. They, subject of the sentence, subject pronoun actually, nominative case, what are they doing? They're giving. What are they giving? They're giving books. I think I said book. It's plural. That's direct object. It's accusative case. And to whom are they giving the books? To, preposition, to whom? Teacher, object of the preposition, to the teacher prepositional phrase. This one goes in the dative case because the books are going 
to the teacher. This makes the teacher the indirect object, and of course we can get rid of the article adjectives in Latin when we translate into Latin. So, they give books, direct object after the direct object line, they give the books, ready? Here's the indirect object phrase, to, leave the tail, teacher, the. They give the books to the teacher. Now all we have to do is translate this into Latin. Unless we're showing emphasis, we don't need the preposition. So we'll just say, dant, again, English word order, bad Latin. Dant, that's they give, there's they right there, and the do part is give, so dant, Let's get rid of that, that's confusing. Dant the books, libros. So we have the main sentence now, dant libros. They give the books. Right? Now we just need to the teacher. Magister is teacher. Some people would say magister, but I use the ecclesiastical or the Italian pronunciation. So magister. Uh, but that's incorrect, this is an nominative case. So we've got to change this to the dative case, dant libros, because remember, he's the indirect object, they're giving him the books, dant libros magistro, dant libros magistro, dative case now, see that ending, dative case, dant libros magistro, let's do five or sixteen more, dad tells his son a story, subject of the sentence, dad, what's he doing, oh wait, subject, I'm racing ahead of myself, what's he doing, he's telling, verb, He's telling what? He's telling, think about this, he's telling a story. That's the direct object. And it's in the accusative case. That's the, the, the noun or the thing or the idea that's coming out of his mouth. That's receiving the action. The story is. Who gets the story? Who gets the direct object? The indirect object does. We don't have a preposition here to tell us that this is an indirect object. Uh, well, like in the other sentences, we don't have a preposition here to set off a prepositional phrase that's in the dative case. Here we just have a straight-up indirect object. Who gets the story? The son does. He's the indirect object and goes into the dative case. Whose son? His son, also in the dative case, because it's a possessive pronoun adjective, and that adjective is describing son, which means they have to be in the same case. Okay, and of course we can get rid of the article adjective. Here we go. This is going to look a little different because we don't have a preposition this time. Dad tells, what's he telling? He's telling a story. He's telling a story, ready? To his son, but we don't have to. So we just leave this slanted line blank and we write son, his. Simple as that. Dad tells a story, oops, a story to his son, or dad tells his son a story. And now in Latin, pater narrat. Narrat is tells in Latin. That's where we get the word narrative, narrate, narration, narrator. All of these have to do with telling. Pater narrat, pater narrat what? He narrat fabulam. This is accusative, right? Fabulam. This is where we get fabulous and fable, other words like that that have to do with stories. Pater narrat fabulam. Okay, so now all we need is to his son. This has got to go in the dative case. So, filio. There we go. We changed filius to filio because it's dative. Filio suo. Okay, this is turning into quite a long video. That's because I like the dative case. Dad gives an apple to his daughter. Subject of the sentence, dad. Subject of the sentence, nominative case. What's he doing? He's giving, verb. Uh, what's he giving? He's giving an apple. The apple receives the action. It's the direct object. It goes into the accusative case. To, preposition to whom? Daughter, object of the preposition to his daughter. His describing daughter. Uh, this all goes in the date of case because his daughter receives the apple, the direct object, goes to the daughter, making her the indirect object. That goes into the dative case. And is an article adjective. Okay. Dad 
gives apple, right? This is an apple. And who gets the apple? His daughter does. To daughter, I'm going to use the logical spelling there. That's how English should spell daughter, but because English is a wacky language, look what they do. Whatever. Dad gives an apple to his daughter. I'll probably get comments about the spelling of that word there. That, my friends, is how it should be spelled. I'm just kidding, really. But anyway, dad gives an apple to his daughter. Okay, pater, dot, dad gives. He gives an apple, malum. He gives an apple to his daughter, right? All we have to do is put that in the dative case. Fili. Okay, so daughter is filia. That's where the Spanish get hija. That's where we get filial duty in English. Filial means daughter-like or son-like. Okay, so anyway, it's in the first declension. To make it dative, we simply add an e. Pater dat malum filie. Ready? His daughter. Su. Watch this ending. It shows up over here again with the possessive pronoun adjective. Sue. Pater dat malum filie sue. Okay, last one, I promise. The river gives the town water. This one comes, this sentence comes from the lingua latina, which is the greatest book out there if you want to learn Latin. It's the place to start. It's tough, 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 but if you make it through, you'll be able to read Latin. The river gives the town water, subject of the sentence. River, subject of the sentence, nominative case. What's the river doing? The river is giving. Verb, the river is giving what? Think about this. The river is giving water. This is sort of a badly worded English sentence, but whatever. The river gives water, direct object, accusative case, and the river is giving water, this is the direct object, to whom? Who gets the direct object? The town does. That makes the town the indirect object, and of course that means it's going into the dative case. Article adjective, article adjective. Let's diagram it and then we're done. River, the river, gives, the river gives what? Water, direct object. Hopefully you're starting to notice the pattern here. It's, we just keep repeating the same pattern over and over and over again. It's really not that complicated. It looks complicated in the beginning, but if you build slowly, it becomes less bewildering. The river gives water, okay, let's give it to the town. We don't have two, so we just leave this slanted line blank. The river gives water town the. So we have grammatically drawn out this sentence, the river gives the town water. And now all we have to do is switch this into Latin. River in Latin, there's multiple ways to say river. We're going to use fluvius, which is the one Hans Orberg uses in this example. Hans Orberg wrote the the fantastic Latin book, Lingua Latina, which you guys all know I love. Fluvius, that. Okay, the river gives, it gives what? Aquam, that's in the accusative case, because it's a direct object. Fluvius, that, aquam. Now, let's give it to the town. Town is opidum, in Latin. I don't know of a single English word that comes from that. If you do, please let me know. I'd love to find out about it. Fluvius, dat aquam. Opidum. Now that's incorrect. That's in the nominative case. So let's get rid of the U-M and replace it with the dative ending. O. Oh. Fluvius dat aquam opido. And of course, for better Latin, we would move the dot to the end. Fluvius aquam opido dot. This one was long, my friends, but I hope the dative is clear to you at this point. If you like this video, even though it was extensive and you want more like it, well, you know what to do. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time.